Pressure pot versus vacuum. All right, guys, I get a lot of questions about uh, using a vacuum versus a pressure pot. Here's the skinny on a, on a pressure pot. A pressure pot puts so much pressure on the, the air bubbles. Yeah, some escape, but a lot of them, it pushes them so much that they go down into these minuscule little, little bubbles. And that's what it does, okay? A vacuum draws all the air out of the pot, out of the, the casting, out of the resin, out of the wood, okay? And uh, you can get some seepage into your wood. So, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you the difference of a pour in a pressure pot versus a vacuum. All right, so here it is. I mixed up some total boat two to one and it's cold in my shop. It's not really, really warm. Uh, so you see all these bubbles. I mixed it really fast just to make sure I get the bubbles in there. Uh, so we're gonna, both of them are like this. We're gonna put one in the vacuum and then one into the pressure pot and we're gonna get them out. I'll pop them back out of the, the holder and then we'll go from there and see which one's clear. One issue that you do have to worry about with the vacuum is when you start getting those bubbles, it starts frothing up your resin and sometimes it can bubble over. Um, and right now all we're going to do is we got to babysit that and get all the resin, the bubbles going and then we're going to basically degas the resin. So we're just taking it out of the resin. Alright, so it's been a whole day. I let this all sit in there and I ran that that vacuum pump the entire time and I ran the pressure pot the entire time. <laughs> and here's what it looks like. Here's the one that was in the pressure pot. Oh, I didn't mix it all the way. You can see it's a little bit tacky, but it is solid and there are no bubbles in it. You can tell. Um, it's got dirt in it. <laughs> I should have cleaned it out a little bit better, but it's clear. It doesn't have any bubbles in it. Uh, exactly what we're looking for in a resin, right? That's a little bit sticky. This one right here. This one was in the vacuum and I let it sit and there are air bubbles coming through it. Um, I don't know if this would happen if you used a deep pour epoxy like thick set, um, but wow. You can see the bubbles in there. Just tearing through this. I let it go until it got hard. And... So, I'm not sure what this tells me. I'm not sure what it tells you. I've never used a vacuum for pulling the bubbles out of resin. I guess it would work a little bit better if I did the vacuum with the thick set and got all the bubbles out and then poured it into my project and then put it in the pressure pot or put my project into the vacuum let it go for a little bit got all the air out of it and then put it in the pressure pot so <laughs> i'm not really sure so uh pressure pot versus vacuum you be the judge but two to one is not what i would use in there i would use thick set uh, anybody else have any experience with using a vacuum for resin instead of instead of a pressure pot? Chime in. Why did it do this? What's going on? Is it because we used the two to one? Is it because we used the 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 vacuum? Is it because I didn't drain off the air? and I kept the, the air pressure cooking in that thing? I don't know, let me know. Next time, let's try it with some thick set. But until next time, stay cool.